this is, in my opinion, the most meta 200k team you can put together right now and all of the players perform amazingly in game. I would advise that you buy them with the chem stars already on them because that will save you a bunch of coins and you shouldn't lose too many coins on this team because most of the players are around for the price. But let's get into it. So in goal, we've got 83 rated Hugo Lloris. Now, this is more for chem purposes. Not the most amazing keeper, but he'll do the job and he scores a mean penalty. Can you guess who we're going to link him to? I think you should be able to. But yeah, Lloris, he'll do the job. I think the funds are best allocated elsewhere in the team to make a bigger impact. He's good enough. In the right back position, we're going with 86 rated road to the knockouts, Jonathan Claus. Really like this card this year. It'll be interesting to see if EA bring out a Christmassy card similar to the Winter Wildcards Claus from last year. But this road to the knockouts one is decent. With the shadow, he definitely has enough pace. His defending is pretty good as well. Physically, he's okay. He moves well, passes well enough can shoot if you really need to but yeah i think he can go forward he can defend really like him this year so yeah in the right back position around this price range i think he's your best option so in these teams i can't seem to avoid this man to be honest we've got 85 rated rafael varan with the shadow i mean he's a beast he hits attackers alive with that anticipate play style plus as well the golden raccoon his pace with the shadow is good enough defending really good physically he's good enough the rest i mean he's a center back we don't care too much about it. i got a four star week for as well medium high work rates tall as well but yeah he's got that anticipate plus play style which makes a big difference in game i've used him a lot this year and he is so solid now his center back partner you can pick from a range of french center backs you've got saliba simakan kunde but we're going with kim pembe because I just think for the price, he is amazing value. You'll see again, 189 games played. He is solid and a half. He's also got the block play style plus. You'll be surprised how much that activates. He does block a lot of passes and shots. I really like it actually. Some decent other play styles as well. His pace with the shadow, good enough. Again, defensively good enough. Physicals, really good 86 as a base stat. Again, don't worry about the rest. He is a center back. Medium high work rate, six feet two. He is a solid center center back for the price but as i said there are alternatives if you want to spend a bit more in the left back position this is just amazing value at just over 20k we've got teo hernandez wow i mean just look at the card his pace you don't need a shadow on him stick an anchor on him just to boost those physicals a bit more along with the defense and pace but such a good left back for the price with great links six feet tall as well decent physically he's got a few good play styles as well quick step relentless long throw and rapid so yeah he is rapid in game gets up and down that left hand side like no one else the alternative to him is Fernand mendy i love that mendy card and it is my personal preference but hernandez is better value so we're going with him now as i'll stay back cdm you can't get much better value than this either in the game we've got sure many with the shadow already on him 3.8k that's crazy value that boosts his pace and defending to a nice level he's great physically as well he's got long legs in game six feet two inches tall medium high work rates for a holding cdm Honestly, I think he's next to perfect for the price. Look how many play styles the man has as well. He wins it back. He protects the defense. You can't ask for too much more. Now we have an absolute engine next to him. One of the best players in the world at the moment, Jude Bellingham. He's got that relentless play style plus his stamina doesn't drop. He is good at everything. He's going to be on balance. He's going to get up and down the pitch, defending, attacking. He's four star, four star, high, high. This card is such a well-rounded card. You can see I played 308 games with him. I know how good he is. He is very good. He has some nice other play styles along with that relentless play style. Plus, I love that his stamina, as I said, does not drop. Just a simply well-rounded card to go next to sure many. Bellingham, beast. In the central cam position, we have Antoine Griezmann. He'll be starting in striker here. We'll move him in the tactics back to the central cam position because he's really good at passing. He can play that position very well. And of course, he has that finesse shot play style plus broken i don't even need to say more about that griezmann he's around for the price if you buy him you're not going to lose many coins if any you might even gain some coins depending on the sbcs that come out but yeah his pace with the hunter it is good enough 
I prefer faster players on the wings, which is why I'll have Griezmann in the middle. His shooting is cracked, especially those finesse shots. Passing really good for the cam position. Dribbling, he moves really well. Physically, he's okay. But that's not what we're looking for with Griezmann, is it? He's got a bunch of play styles and of course the finesse shot play style plus in the central cam position at this price range i don't think you can do much better honestly our next striker is also going to be out of position actually we're going to have him on the right hand side and it is 85 rated marcus rashford i don't know if this will be a controversial one because i see a few things on twitter or x whatever you want to call it calling this guy trash saying he's a fraud I don't believe them because when I use him, he is crazy good. Honestly, we're going to have him on the right hand side because he's got that three star weak foot. The five star skills are really handy to have with the hunter. His pace for the wing is really good. He is rapid. His shots, let's not even talk about that. His power shots, obviously with the power shot play style plus are crazy. His passing is good enough. His dribbling is pretty good. He moves quite well, especially being six feet one inches tall. He's got the high low work rates, decent physically in game at least but yeah he's got some nice other play styles as well quick step flair technical but that power shot play style plus is extremely fun to play with i think rashford is great in this game honestly 32 and a half k bargain on the right wing we're actually going to be playing him on the left wing because of course he has that five star weak foot it is Usman dembele might be another controversial pick here i've seen fraud shouts for him i don't think so honestly he is so good for me in game i've played this is not the first Dembele I bought. I played countless games with him and he is amazing. Of course, five star, five star, one, high, medium. Five foot ten is a good height. His pace, extremely good. Don't need to touch it. And with his play style, he has the rapid play style plus. Honestly, he's really quick getting down that wing. You can utilize those five star skills to make some space for yourself. His controlled sprinting with R1 or RB is excellent. I don't see how this guy is a fraud. Sometimes he will miss the odd chance because his shooting isn't amazing, which is why you need to boost it with a finisher. But at just under 30k, 5 star, 5 star, he's such a fun card. Just have him on the wing and he'll destroy their right or left back, honestly. And on the left wing, we actually have our striker. The reason that he is our striker is because his shooting is the best in the team on that 5 star weak foot. 87 rated Hyungmin Son. We've got the Hunter on him. I don't think he needs an engine or anything like that. He moves well enough, but he's going to be banging in most of the goals up front for us. This card is so good. Six feet tall, high medium, four star skills, five star weak foot with the finesse shot play style plus. His finesse shots are broken on either foot. He is so clinical pace with the hunter really good shooting out of this world passing good enough dribbling he moves quite well obviously would move slightly better with an engine but i don't notice too much of a difference so i leave a hunter on him and his physicals are okay but yeah such a good attacker i mean this finesse shot play style plus we've got griezmann and him with it so op a couple other play styles here as well rapid quick step but yeah that five star weak foot paired with the finesse shot play style plus son is our striker he's gonna score a lot of goals for you so that's the team we played them in a 4-2-3 on narrow i have a more detailed video that i'll put in the description but quickly going through the instructions i have on the players the keeper and the two center backs we leave them alone the left back and the right back we put on stay back while attacking and run type overlap bellingham we have on balanced almost everything i think yeah balanced everything with cover center as his defensive position sure many we've got cut passing lanes and stay back while attacking also cover center then Bele and Rashford we have them both on comeback on defense the rest we leave it alone Griezmann we leave him alone and the striker we've just put on getting behind but honestly this team full of OP players full of finesse shots power shots the lot it will perform very well for you if you've enjoyed this video and found it useful make sure you subscribe to the channel or like the video whichever one you want to do if you do both that's bonus points for you. But yeah, it's been your boy Room Rix. I'm going to leave a similar video down there. Make sure you watch that. Take care.